Right, so today I'm trying to answer the question of if the Devil May Cry Special Edition is worth it if you've already played the original Devil May Cry 5. Now the first thing that I think the biggest thing about the uh, special edition is it has playable Virgil. Now the Virgil campaign is structured very similar in how it has been in the past. The only major differences to the actual story of the game is the intro cutscene and the outro cutscene. And Virgil doesn't really get to experience the story, uh, so I would recommend playing through the first uh, original campaign where you take control of Dante, Nero and V to experience the actual narrative if it is your first time playing because with Virgil you don't get any cutscenes you just jump straight into the original level so for me I think if it's your first time playing or you want a refresher play through the first campaign normally and then play as Virgil it's not like a major difference in skill Virgil plays probably the most similar to Dante with numerous weapons he has is Yamato, uh, Mirage Blade and Beowulf. Very similar to Dante's style in how you can switch any differences he does that have multiple uh, ranged weapons available to him. I would say Virgil is probably my favourite character to play in Devil May Cry 5. His speed and the combos that you can pull off of him are really really fun. And it's going to be very interesting for me to play him on higher difficulties and get to learn more of his combos as I unlock more of his skills. Um, I did a pretty rushed playthrough of the Virgil campaign because um, I did replay the original campaign first. So I think it's very interesting. You do get some extra boss fights that I'm not going to spoil, or variations on boss fights, I should say. In regards to the technical aspects, I did play this on PlayStation 5 and I didn't really notice any frame drops, I must say. I was play I'm playing on a 60Hz um, cap due to the capped card. Um, but yeah, I didn't notice any drops really. I think I noticed the odd occasion when I tried out um, Legendary Dark Knight, I think is a difficult uh, code that's included in the special edition. Um, I would say my one criticism with the Special Edition is definitely the original price if you already owned it. I'm still not a big fan of that, but it's something that I think we're just going to have to live with now that we're across two different console generations. With it being... Th I'm going on British Pound, by the way. With it being around £35 at launch, I didn't really go for it at the time. But... I picked it up for £10 on sale uh, on the PlayStation Store, so I imagine that will come out at the mean average price now on sale. And for that price, I think it's a steal. The quality of the game that you get, the replayability from it when you take in the, uh, the secrets, the outfits that you can get on playing on different difficulties, the, the different skills that each character brings offers its own uniqueness to every mission and the fact that after your first initial playthrough um, you can go back and play any mission as any character and it helps you experience those missions in a different way you can tackle a boss fight in a different method maybe you want to fight a boss that you fought as V and had to use range attacks and you want to try getting up and close with Nero and his limit breakers and I or, shall I say Nero, his limit breakers and his devil trigger. 
I think it is a really top quality game. I think it's just that initial price point was probably a big sticking point for people. The soundtrack's fantastic, even the added tracks from the special edition for Virgil add so much and it's probably my favourite combat track. It just it fits every single life. You'll it'll actually help you <laughs> nail your combos actually for me. It got me more into it and focused and yeah, Virgil is just such a joy to play. Very similar to Devil May Cry 4. But yeah, this has been quite short to be honest. Like this hasn't been a major thing because I'm not really going over the main the main game because I imagine if you're gonna play this you're gonna to want to experience it that yourself, so I don't want to spoil anything. And also if you're just interested in the upgrade, then you've already, I imagine you've already played through the main campaign, so no really need to talk about it because nothing on that aspect has changed apart from the frames. Um but solid recommend from me, I must say. And hopefully I'll have another video out in the near future. So I'll see you guys next time.